Hi everyone. So in January of this year, 2023, my wife and I purchased this Volkswagen ID4. It's a 2023 Pro all-wheel drive. Um, and we are mostly using it for normal stuff, uh, commuting around for work, uh, picking up groceries, around town stuff. We've done a couple small road trips with it. Love the car so far. Um, and I'll probably talk a little bit more in other videos about what we do and don't like about the vehicle. But it's mostly met our needs very well. Um, and part of the reason that we went with this model is because we would like to tow with it. Um, the all-wheel drive version is rated for up to 2,700 pounds towing capacity. Uh, and comes with a tow hitch and everything uh, installed. Um, so that made it pretty easy. And we've towed a little utility trailer with it, um, just maybe a total of like 50 miles or so. Uh, it didn't seem to uh, affect the driving at all and didn't degrade the range or efficiency enough to matter for the little trip that we were making. But um, we really want to try towing longer distances with this. We realized that uh, we would like to get a little trailer. I've seen some other people do it on YouTube. Um, some people are making it work. Uh, we'd like to get a little trailer, a little camping trailer of some kind, to tow with this. Um, we were thinking originally that we would just tow it here. We live in uh, western Oregon, um, and there's tons of places that we could go uh, camping um, or whatever we want to do, hiking trips or whatever, uh, here locally. Um, so that was our original thought, was just day trips or um, with the car or maybe like you know, three-day weekends in Oregon with the camping trailer. Um, but basically trips that wouldn't mean that we had to charge much on the road. We're fine charging if we're going up and down I-5 or like major freeways or something like that. But um, and it's worked out well for us so far. We haven't had major problems. But, um, you know, we kind of were a little nervous, intimidated, still are, <laughs> about uh, longer trips towing and relying on uh, the charging infrastructure, maybe like RV parks, whatever, um, for towing a small camper trailer. But what happened is that my wife and her dad and her sister ended up purchasing a vacation cabin in Minnesota. And like I said, we live in Oregon, so it's like 2,000 miles away from us, something like that. Um, and we would like to drive out there. And one of the main reasons we'd like to drive out there is because uh, the cabin is on a lake. Um, Minnesota, there's tons of lakes. Uh, there aren't that many lakes here where we live, but we happen to have a couple of kayaks that we would like to strap down maybe to the car, maybe to the trailer, and drive them out there and take like three weeks or something like that to drive out there, camp on the way out, camp on the way back, stay at the cabin while we're there, do some kayaking, um, probably leave the kayaks there. Um, and probably like I said rely on like RV parks and campgrounds and things like that to do a lot of our charging obviously a lot of EA stations and stuff like that but I thought in the meantime we're probably gonna do that right now it's uh, late March and we're probably gonna do that in September actually we are we're going there in September but whether or not we drive is the question um, so in September I'd like to have a trailer right now I don't know what trailer to buy I have no idea, and that's why I'm making this initial video. My thought was that I make a series of videos where we figure out what types of trailers we could potentially rent. Sorry, there was a ton of glare where the, the I'm just filming this on my phone, there was a ton of glare on the phone, so I thought I'd move it real quick, just hold it. Um, so our thought is, my thought was that we could potentially rent some trailers, um, off of like outdoorsy or something somewhere in Oregon find a bunch of trailers that are lightweight hopefully I'm going for hopefully under 1500 pounds um, as aerodynamic as possible some of the ones I've been looking at are like a-liners and chalets and things where they're like hard-sided um, fold up or pop-up sort of trailers um, scamps and other related uh, fiberglass sort of rounded trailers, um, maybe teardrops. Uh, we do have a two-year-old daughter, so if it had a second bed or something like that, that would be ideal. So my thought was that we could potentially do some of our camping trips that we wanted to do in Oregon uh, with rented trailers and make a video for each one and 
see um, not only how we like the trailer, maybe give a little quick review of the trailer, but more importantly, give a review of how that trailer works with our electric vehicle and how it affects range and how our charging was, um, how the charging experience was along the way, um, how the charging at various campgrounds or RV parks worked out. Um, so that was my thought. What I'd like to do here, if anyone does uh, happen to watch this, this is my first video of the series, so if anyone happens to catch this, uh, let me know in the comments if you have any ideas on uh, trailers that we could try out, commonly available, or ones that maybe I can get a hold of, um, or that I should just look into for purchasing. Um, I'm still in that phase of doing research, and I don't think very many people are towing uh, different types of trailers with uh, EVs. I know some people with Teslas are doing it and, and it's out there, but um, I ha wasn't able to find a lot of videos like this. Uh, which types of trailers decrease your range uh, most? Which ones are most efficient? Um, specifically for our family of three. Um, yeah, that's what, kind of what I'm hoping to do here with this video series. So if you have any ideas for me, let me know. If you've tried this, let me know. Um, got a few months to decide so I'd really appreciate it. So I thought I'd say a little bit more about the car itself. Sorry it's super windy out here I need to get a better setup for this obviously but um, this is the all-wheel drive Pro 94. Like I said we're super happy with it so far. Um, we've been averaging it's been winter the whole time we've had it. It doesn't get super cold where we are but you know 30s and 40s. We've been averaging probably about uh well, three miles per kilowatt hour, somewhere in there, on a warm day when it hits 60 or something like that. We don't use the heat or anything. We'll get probably four miles per kilowatt hour. Um, and if we have to use the heat and all that, probably more like two and a half miles per kilowatt hour. So just to give you an idea. I actually took it out. I work um, outside. I'm a botanist slash ecologist, so I drive a lot of forest roads and things like that. We'll normally take my truck, but uh, I wanted to see how this car would do. Um, so I got it pretty dirty. Um, I'll probably actually make some videos about how that goes, like off-road. Not extreme off-road, but a little bit of off-road uh, with this vehicle. Kind of putting all-wheel drive to the test and getting to some remote sites. Maybe even get a little footage of some of the plants we're looking at. But this is one of the main reasons that we bought this, is that it comes pre-installed with the tow hitch. Um, and it's ready to receive a 7-pin uh, light harness right there. Um, I found this to be really convenient. Uh, I already got a 7-pin to 4-pin adapter because our normal cargo trailer has a 4-pin plug on it. Um, but that was really easy just to put the, the adapter in there and plug in. And I got a 2-inch uh, ball hitch for this that I store in the trunk. Um, and like I said, towing maybe 1,500 pounds or so with it, just 50 miles, was no problem at all. Um, I didn't track how it affected the range, but it didn't really seem to matter that much, and the car felt great. Um, so if you have any other questions about this, or want me to go over the specifics about the car, what I do and don't like about it, things you'd like to see, maybe places I could drive it more in like the off-road adventure sort of uh, sense. Um, and then definitely if you have uh, any thoughts about towing or trailer ideas, let me know. Thanks. Bye.